Okay. Good afternoon. It's August 2nd, and we're Three Sisters Knit. I'm Sheila. And I'm Margaret. And this is a knitting and yarn podcast. So um, you can find us here on YouTube, uh, but you can also find us on uh, Instagram as Three Sisters Knit. And you can find us on Pinterest as Three Sisters Knit, although I think you might have to look at uh, if, or, uh, Margaret Sheila, all one word. Um, but I think if you search Three Sisters Knit, you'll find us there as well. And I think that's pretty much it. And, and, and we, we have, have a Ravelry, Ravelry group, group as well, Three Sisters Knit. Yeah, so you can uh, catch up to the podcast there. We have um, chats, introduce yourself, and... Um, yeah, hopefully as as we go forward, we'll also have other um, threads on there where we can chat about projects, etc. So mm -hmm. um, I will be putting all the um, contact info in the pro in the show notes as well as probably I might give it a try and do it across the bottom here. Yeah. Oh, I did that really well. Ooh, very well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still all yes. turned around. We I know. We're fixing our hair and everything and it just... It's going yeah, wrong. <laughs> So actually, the, it, it, to, this is Tuesday. Normally, we do our our podcasts on Wednesdays because mm -hmm. that's when our um, knit, night. knit night is. Uh, but today, um, we didn't actually. Well, it's because Sheila's husband is on vacation this week, and, and we're going away. So yeah, they're getting. We're doing ready it a day early. Away. So we're doing it a day early, and um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And uh, so we're we're. Trying to get ourselves organized. We're feeling it's only a very day early, but we're feeling very disorganized yes. today. <laughs> yes, we are. So, so we are going to get started on. Yep. On um, we can do many whips, things. I think. I okay. Think we're yeah, gonna do we whips. can do some whips. So, mm -hmm. um, I have. Every, I'm doing the that baby sweater, which I showed the pattern last week. Um, this is I have the main body of the sweater done. I've just held it together at the top with them. Um, with some stitch markers, but there's the main body of the sweater, and I started the lace for the sleeve that go on the cuff of the sleeve. It's actually for the cuff, so I've started the cuff of both sleeves. I like to do there's since I'm glad that they're done separately, and I can do them all on the same needle. So there is the <laughs> stitch pattern, very nice and lacy. That's really pretty. So well, it's kind of like a leaf or something. Yeah, something it's like really that. Pretty. Yes, it is. It's quite nice. So, and so your mask just how, how long much of that? Do you um, do? I've done two patterns and almost done two complete patterns. I have to do one more. It's a total of three patterns, and then it, it's okay. you actually sew it on, or you'll I'll knit the rest of it. Um, the right side will be against the back because this turn it's a cuff. It cuffs up. So oh. you yeah. Oh, very cute. So yeah. So that's. That's what I have done on that. I'm working like a Dickens trying to get that done. I have to have it done by the end of August. That and I've got the hat. I have to steam the hat and add the ribbon. And I have to redo the, the booties. booties. <laughs> the extra large so booties. <laughs> I'm hoping to get a lot of it done while I'm away on holidays at the cottage. I'll just relax and knit. Yeah. Either yeah. on the dock or on the deck or yeah. just whenever. <laughs> whenever I can. That sounds great. Yep. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the projects I'm working on. Um, another one is I'm starting number two, my Pure Joy shawl yeah. number two. If you if you uh, do follow us on uh, Instagram, you may have seen uh, this post. Uh, Sheila was working on it. Isn't that gorgeous though? Oh, that's such a pretty color combination. I don't yes. know if it's really picking it up. But let's turn it this way just a bit. No, I thought that might show. It's a really it's pale, a pale pink, pink with a black, like... black, black gray fleck and then a black um, contrast. Contrast. So it looks really super. Yes. Loving, loving, loving this color yes. combination. And the and black. Great. I love is, the names as well. Yeah, the black is a Georgian Bay fiber and it is RMS Coal. And the pink is Studio Lou, which is uh, Canadian. Uh, also Canadian. Also She's Canadian. out of the, the sort of the west, north west end. Uh, we, we first saw I'm her at sure uh, she, exactly. the Kitchener Waterloo. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Knitters but Festival. I love the name of the pink one. It's called Pink Lady Scuffle. Yeah, which is, you know, I just, oh, I saw, Sheila saw the name and said, I have to have that. And we both loved the color. Yes. But I just, all I could think of is these nice society ladies wearing their Chanel suits getting into, you know, a kind of a real housewives type of <laughs> type of scenario yes. with tables being thrown and yes. punches also being thrown yes. and stuff. So I know. <laughs> I just thought that was such yes. a cute name. <laughs> Try to be a lady, yes. but every once in a while the uh... Yeah, Chanel can only do so much. Yes. Yes. It doesn't hide the true you. Yes. <laughs> it just puts a nice coating on it. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, and then you are so, working on... Yes, yeah, so I have one whip that I've been working on for a little while now. Now, it is the... Um, this is my Pure Joy shawl, which, if you recall, I was having such trouble with the first um, pairing of colors that I did, so I switched over and did a different pairing of colors, um, which were actually for my stash, which is so awesome. I just love that. So um, this is where I was uh, the last time we met, right here. That's where I put my stitch marker, so you can see how much I've done since then. So, so it is all that down, all that down, all the way along, and, and you can really see, really see this beautiful color, the copper and zinc so, yarn. Yeah, so that yarn is, uh, yeah, the copper and zinc from I want to get this right, Riverside Studio, and she's in Quebec. And um, you can really see that nice, the dark, uh, kind of charcoal y color um, for the zinc, and then, and also um, like it's, a, blue, it's gray. a blue gray, and then some pale golds and Into the and coppery the colors. coppery colors that go really well with the Zen uh, yarn, yarn Garden uh, Truffle colorway. So it's just, it's turning out just gorgeous. It's mm -hmm. so, so pretty. Um, I can't wait to get this done. I'm just, I've, I've started uh, back freelancing and I, I have to get into a rhythm of my working because I've been not working for a couple of years now. So uh, I, I'm really liking the, the editing work that I'm doing, yes. but it's, it's getting into the, the time thing. Yeah. Uh, trying to organize, trying to time, organize my time, time around management. that. So, um, so I haven't done as much on this as I would like to, but I'm yeah. I'm so close I can almost taste it. And so you will be seeing more postings of this, and hopefully you'll see it at some point wrapped around me, finished. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. completely finished. Yes. So that's yes. that's the big the big my yes. big project. Yes. So that's that's all I'm working on right now. Yes. And acquisitions, we didn't really get any no, no yarn, anyways. Yeah. But I did get. <laughs> Our mugs. Aren't these cute? Look at that nice like it's sweater. Yeah. They're so cute. Like a little cable knit sweater. And they come with a mixing spoon and a lid. They have a nice lid that fits on top with a nice little porcelain mixing spoon that comes with it. Yeah. So, yay! So, yeah, you can take it from room to room and mix if you take you can uh, use sugar it as a, or milk yeah. or something in your tea. And you can use it as a coaster as well if you want. Like, you oh, put yeah, it that down. Oh, that's a good idea. Can, yeah. Yeah, because it's got, like, a little... Uh, ledge. Ledge, so it, sits, it just keeps it in there warm. nicely. Keeps it warm. And then I guess you can just put, put it down, down and, and it's a coaster. It's on top like it's a coaster, which yep. is awesome. Yep. So, I got those from Avon. Avon. <laughs> Who knew? So. So I'm I'm just having uh, water, at the and moment. I'm having iced tea. I know they're in mugs, but and they're really big mugs too. The, yeah, these are, these are probably like twelve ounce mugs. Yeah, I mean they're absolutely yes. huge. You can look at the size of it there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine in the winter when you're having like nice a tea, big hot chocolate, hot chocolate or coffee or a tea in oh, there, or just put hot hands chocolate it. with a couple but of marshmallows you know in it. We're we're not really winter. We really like. We like summer. summer. We're 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 we definitely like sunshine, warm end weather. End of spring, all summer, and just the beginning of fall. fall. That's yeah. us. Once the leaves have turned, that's it. I want south. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. I keep saying if I if I ever win the lottery, uh, that Beatles. We'd be chasing the yeah. sun around that the Beatles world. Song. I'll follow the sun. That yeah. will be my theme song because I will never <laughs> ever see snow again. Yes. Never. 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 Yes. Never. Yes. So so you know this is how I like to. Imagine the niceness of having hot chocolate with marshmallows and 
sitting by a fire and I think, oh, that's so lovely, but, you know, for maybe like 24 hours and then I'm done. Yes. <laughs> Me, too. Me too. Yeah. Um, one of the things, okay, now I'll talk about some of the podcasts. I'm yes. watching some new podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, some new ones I'm watching is a new one. It's called Hey Sister. And it's Rachel, and I think her name's Tammy. Tammy. I'm not oh, sure if it's Tammy. Tammy. It sounds like Tabby, yeah. which... But maybe I, her name's Tabitha. I'm maybe it's really Tabitha. Sure. Yeah, but we're not sure. But they're, yeah. they're, they're young, <laughs> a couple of young moms. Um, Rachel's just had her first, which is about... Uh, and it's a little boy. Um, they both were pregnant at the same time. Uh, Tam, Tammy with her fourth and Rachel with her first. And they had, um, Tammy has all girls and Rachel has a boy and <laughs> one, one's eight months, one's nine months. I'm not sure which one is which, yeah. but yeah. So they've yeah. just got some young ones, some little toddlers. Little and they talk toddlers. about uh, knitting. yarn and knitting, knitting and, and Rachel's only been knitting for a couple of months now and she's doing some really nice nice things yeah. there yeah she's doing really really well that's cool it is it's very cool it's really neat because it's all about it's all about the sisters <laughs> yeah yeah so um, actually I really find it fun watching uh the sister because yeah. it's so great seeing the interaction yes of sisters I mean because we are but then also um you know like the crafty toads and the grocery girls, girls and now and hey periscoping sister and periscoping sisters. sisters yes and there's some other ones out yeah, there, there too, too and i still i have to find them but i yeah. know they are out there too yeah it's just it's so much fun because you know yes. we, we're quite close and so it's yes. it's um it's great to see that in other families and that, as well. that, that we're all sharing our love, love of <laughs> craft of <laughs> yes. some sort you yes. know, and knitting spinning sewing any yeah. of those it's yeah. just it's and really really nice of, egg each other on yes. when it comes to <laughs> egging on is probably a good word <laughs> instead of instigating <laughs> yes or, or enabling <laughs> yes <laughs> so and then one of the other and they're from west virginia they're in west virginia oh, okay one of the other ones i'm also i started to watch oh and he's from north carolina it's david from dog dare he's just wow oh yeah yes he Grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, and he and his partner just moved a couple of years ago to North Carolina. Oh, okay. Yes. And he talks a lot about his dogs, which to, he has, a, as he calls it, his step puppy, mm -hmm. um, his partner's dog, um, which he absolutely loves. But he had two dogs of his own, and they, those were like his children. Um, and they have, they have both since passed oh. one before he moved and then one after he oh, moved. So that's too bad. they were, they were his babies. Yeah. So, and I totally get it. I totally understand it. I really do. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's, oh my gosh, so multi-talented, this man, oh. so multi-talented. Yes. Just uh, so interesting to watch. So interesting to watch. Very, very, um, I quite enjoyed listening watching yeah. his I just yeah. sort of binge watched all of his it's like I hear I watch podcasts and they name them and I write them all down and I try to binge watch and I you know you like you got to find ones that, that I don't know for some reason they just click with you yes and yeah, yeah and those are the ones that I I'm like Margaret you have to watch these because <laughs> generally we watch we got pretty much similar tastes yeah. in, in the in the podcast that we watch mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I just wanted to give a shout out to the girls from Hey Sister and Dog Dare. Yeah. So hey there, guys. Have fun. <laughs> Happy knitting. <laughs> Keep it up. So, but yeah, that was good. Um, uh, do we want to do my stash yes, stuff? We'll do your stash. So I wanted to stash follow busting. up on this. Uh, this is going to be our stash busting section. Mm -hmm. um, I want to follow up. So I know, uh, I think in the last, last one, week we showed. I showed um, this gorgeous speckled yarn that I got from a uh, yarn therapist. This beautiful um, purple rain. And it is just so... Oh, I just love it with the gray it's such platinum a fuchsia color, purple, and too. then such a fuchsia purple. It's called yeah. Purple Rain, and it's um, merino cashmere nylon. Loving it. I went home and I found this amazing <laughs> in my stash from uh, Indigo Dragonfly. Yeah, and it's called it's a it's a special edition, and it's called she again has amazing names. Pinot, Pinot butter. butter. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I got that. I got home and I was like, oh my gosh, 
they go, go really so well together. Well. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So I am thinking this might be another pure joy shawl. And yes. I know You're that I do will it speckle with, with contrast. With the, this is the contrast. And, and oh, I also am pretty sure amazing. that I'm going to have um, a lot left on this one because this is like a double... A double skein. A double skein, um, eight hundred meters. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have enough left to make yeah. a pair of socks or something. Oh, probably. easy, easy. So um, anyway, so I thought that was just uh, wonderful. You know, I remember hearing once that you you tend to uh, be drawn to um, s s the same color over and over and. I had heard that before, mm -hmm. and then a few times I've gone to my own closet and thought, "Wow, it's amazing how how much like you blue know things you'll buy, yeah, but the things same that you colors. buy, um, like blues and purples come in different shades, though. So you know, to have a purple that is exactly the same as another purple, yes. and when you buy them years apart, um, it is really quite. <laughs> it's amazing. So you really are drawn to the same colors over yes. and over again. Um, I keep and telling so her, to go different. I said, when you yeah. see the color you want, I said, go left. Go left. Yes. <laughs> Just go left. <laughs> Change up your palette. Change it up as yes. much as you can. And, and actually, funnily enough, the browns that I was showing you in the Pure Joy shawl that I'm working on right now, those are colors that I wouldn't normally go. Went left. Yes. <laughs> um, so that's why they, they actually sat in my stash for a couple of years because yeah. I didn't know what to do with them because they're just so different from what I normally would go for. But, um, but now I'm thrilled that I got them because they just look so beautiful together and it's just worked out really well. So, but mm -hmm. this other one, I'm really excited about doing, um, a pure joy in that, in that nice speckle. Oh, I think, I, I, I can't wait to yeah, see it. I'm ex really excited yeah. to see that because I think it'll look amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. So that's my stash busting and that's, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I'm doing for my stash busting, or not really stash busting, my leftover stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you may have seen posted on Instagram uh, my cozy memories. Isn't that pretty? This is what I've done. I just this past week I did just the row of the yellows, yellow to green, That's sort of. Right. Yeah. Yes. This is that. That the these three are Studio Lou. This is, these are the, we the bought, little minis we bought a that bunch we bought. of minis um, at the, the Knitter's Frolic. Frolic. And she just had a huge basket. Bin. And it was like, and it was like, get, it was like it was five, for five, five for five dollars or something. It was like, ridiculous. It was like, yeah. You know, but. I and guess. they're all around five grams. So they work, they actually make at least a square. There's a little bit left over, yeah. depending on the size of needles and the size of square that you're making. Mm -hmm. Mine are. 32 stitch squares. So mine are rather small. I've seen people that are doing like 45 stitch squares. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on the size of mitered corner square that you're doing mm -hmm. for it. So, um, and this is the Setchmeyer. This is a fluorescent oh, one yeah. of their, this is a sock, the very first socks that I made. Yes. That one I dyed myself. This one here. Yeah, mm -hmm. and these two are from Studio that one and that one. So yes. these these two are also minis from from her. Yes. Yeah, we each got like a handful. Yeah, we we must have got a dozen or so each. Yeah, I think about fifteen each. Yeah, something like so, that. So yeah, yeah. So for that price, yeah. Mm -hmm. So and then I'm just keeping all my little minis that I have. I wind them up and I put them in the bowl. <laughs> So it just sits there, and every once in a while, it's like, yeah, I should probably do a few. Yeah. <laughs> so, because I was thinking about, everybody's doing this, and it really is a great project for helping get rid of all your little leftover bits of yarn. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I like about it, you could probably do one that would probably fit a single size bed um, if you did one square a day. That's one of these little squares? one of these squares a day. Wow. That's three hundred and sixty five squares. Mm -hmm. And this one, like the the pattern that I'm using for it, which obviously I don't have, I don't have it in yeah. this minute. Um, you start here and then you work one, two, three. So you're sort of like going around, and then you go four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how you do it. You sort of go back and forth between here and here. 
So, or else you could even do like one, two, three, and then one, two, three across the top. It sort of starts here and works its way over it's sort of and like a up. Fan, a fan shape. Yeah, it sort of fans out. You just start at the one corner and it just gets longer as it gets taller. So, and it gets like bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. I've seen a lot of them and they do, it's it's a row. They're literally, literally working one row and then they work the next row and then they work the next row. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I know um, Sue... Um, knit 24 yeah she was doing her one for every month she was doing a square for every month of the year mm -hmm. and then I think she knit a border about five or ten row border garter stitch border around each month's squares oh. that she did for the month Oh. And then she's going to put them all together, and it's going to be like a little patchwork blanket that oh, way. Oh, that's a really interesting That way is of doing a it. very interesting concept. I thought, mm. well, that's a really good idea. Yeah. I really like that idea. I thought that yeah. that was a very, very good idea. But I'm just going to see. This is just, we'll just see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we'll just see. Yeah. That's and why it's a memory blanket. Yeah. So. Yeah, that, that's going to look really great. So this is the front, and this is the first square. So yeah. that's why this one has the little little has the little mark on the marker. My little mermaid yeah. progress keeper. Yeah. So yeah. looks really good. I looks wanted really the good. the first ones around it to sort of sort of match Pick it up. because that yarn is from yeah. Yarn Enabler. That was her highlighter of my life. That was this sock one up here, which is a little more green. But this is the yellow because it sort of variegates from... It's uh, almost like an ombre kind of... It's, it's not ombre quite as from gentle a, as that. It's from, from, a, from a bright yellow to yeah. a green, bright green and then back again. It sort of goes in all those, all those tones in between. Mm -hmm. The pink one was the Studio Lou. The blue one um, I did. It's an MCN... That I dyed. Oh, right. That I did uh, in you the first episode. That, yes. I had that uh, spiral staircase shawl, and yeah. that was the that was the yeah. yarn for that one. So I've got two of my dyed yards in it. Well, that's great. So, that's yeah. really nice memory to have. Yeah, on there. I don't. Well, I don't have many of my brown ombre one. I'm mm -hmm. trying to think what was the other one that I did. I had the brown ombre, the blue, the yellow, the purple one. Purple. Yeah, purple I don't have any speckle. of the purple. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of my purple. It was one like left. a lilac with the, yeah. with the speckle. And I'm going, yeah, no, there, none of those are it. No, I don't have any of it left, so. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, I think I'm going to do blue for my next row, but I think I'm short one, so I need to find a blue mm. that will do. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to go wherever. I'm just going to have one. I'm just going to put my hand in the bowl, close okay. my eyes, <laughs> and pick one out. That'll make it interesting. Yeah. So, but that's pretty much what I'm doing to help stash bust my stuff. But um, I think that this is going to be a short podcast. I we so don't too. really have a lot. We don't have a lot. I mean, yes. considering it's been two like weeks. two weeks, uh, you'd think that we would have a little bit more on the on the go. On the go but but uh, we've just been busy and yeah, just that, that sort hasn't of thing. happened. So. Yes, yeah, it has not happened. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, so what we're going to do, um, one, talking about stash busting and um, our ends, we yeah, have minis. our little minis. We, our last podcast, we talked about doing a little giveaway for our, um, because we had hit the 100 subscribers on our YouTube. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you for coming back. Uh, yes. And thank you and welcome to anybody who's, who's new, new. Yes. to watch. Yes, we really we're, appreciate. We're so appreciative of the fact we, that people yes, we tune check, in to us. We checked just before we started this and we have 167 people subscribing to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel, channel, which so, we're just like, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're over the moon. We really, really appreciate it. We're just, wow. Yeah. Just surprised. It's very surprised. And, <laughs> and, and nice, happy, a nice, happy surprise. It is yes. a happy surprise because we just think they want to really see us again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then our Ravelry, we have 47 Ravelry members. Yes. In our, our, uh, in our Ravelry, Ravelry group. group. Who so. have signed up to follow us there. And our Instagram followers was 437 we have yeah. now. We're yeah. just like, wow, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. At the beginning of the year, we were just at 100, I think. Just over 100. I think so. At the so. beginning of the year. And we kept, we were trying to set sort of benchmarks. Well, let's see if we can get yeah. a few more. Let's see let's if see we can, can get, get a few more. more. Yeah. So, so where we've beat what we had originally planned for the yes. year. So we're, yes. we're so just thrilled. Just so thrilled. Over the moon. This mm. is amazing. But anyways, we did the, we put a thread 
out for our Ravelry, those who um, wanted to enter. Um, they would win, excuse me, I'm reaching out of the picture here. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, eight. Eight. These are eight minis mm -hmm. that I have used, and there's one or there's one in there that was Margaret's. Mm -hmm. So one in there, but the rest of them were minis from projects I have made. Mm -hmm. um, my first, my my first socks, uh, my um, pure joy shawl, uh, my other pair of socks, my. Um, the one that I got oh, down at Florida, Florida Picasso's Moon, Picasso Moon, and then I and then another oh, uh, um, handmaiden hand yarn, yarn as well yeah. in there. So, and two of them, this these two at the bottom, are a hundred percent. This one and this one yeah. are a hundred percent Rambouillet, which is like so amazingly <laughs> soft to work with. And my daughter-in-law, I gave her the socks that I made with them, and she goes. My has uh, my son and her both go. I love them. I wear them all the time. <laughs> so I'm really glad she your, likes your them. Your son doesn't wear them though. No, no he just no, really he likes said, them. He was but telling really me that she wears them all, all the time. That's yeah. fantastic. I know. I know. Oh, he really says, good. "Oh, she just loves them. She wear they have air conditioning and hardwood floors, so and uh, ceramic tiles, so that's cold in your feet. So she wears them sort of like a slipper. <laughs> but anyways." We counted the names. We have 16 names of people that told us what their project was, that their favorite project was that they were working on for the summer. Yeah. Or that Some they really have nice worked ones. on. I have oh, to say. Oh, they sent pictures and they just put beautiful. It, I know. And I have to say, I did check out a bunch of the, um, some people were talking about different uh, um, projects they were working mm -hmm. on, different shawls. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. Maybe yes. So, so I, I've... Um, Added, I think I've added one to my library, and <laughs> I think others I favorited because I know I'm going to go back uh, yes. at a certain point once I figure out what I'm going to do with some of my stash yarn because mm -hmm. some of them are, are th some really nice. That's that's what's so much fun too is yes. hearing from people and then getting new ideas. But uh, I'm at a place right now, as I said, with me working, I feel like I'm uh, I, I'm just too easily distracted. It's like, yes. oh, the shiny, all the shiny things, all the knit, yes. all the things all I the want nice to knit. All the nice little things I want to knit. I'd yes. rather be doing than doing this. I have to, like, step back, take a <laughs> yes. deep breath, and focus on my editing. So. Yes, yes. First things first. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I have to do the editing to get the money to buy the yarn. To buy the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, we had 16 people. Um, because there was only 16, we didn't, and I did reply to a couple comments, and it would just be hard to do a random yeah. gen number generator. I've got all 16 names in this. There they are. Yeah, the in my yarn bowl that I actually painted myself. It's yes. got a nice little peace sign at the bottom. See? Did yeah. that all myself. Anyways, they're all in there. But Margaret's going to pick them because I okay. put them all in there. So Margaret can pick them. Okay. There. And I'll mix them up some yeah. more too. You can see. And we'll tell I'm you who looking. won. They're all yeah. folded up. But I yeah, they're I all really. He them. has no idea. She has no idea because so. she never got to. She, I'm the one that did them. She she would write them I wrote and then them fold, down and fold put them, them up. In. So let's see. And she wasn't here when I did that. Oh, oh Kathleen, Kathleen 188. Yay. Yay. So that's who. There we go. So yes. that's who won the. Uh, she comments a lot on our Instagram she does. as well. So, so it's this great. Is awesome. Yes. So Kathleen, um, private message us, and we for your one of us info. for are you with your contact info, and we will mail out your yeah. your little bag of minis. minis. They're all ten grams. Yes. So by my scale, they're all ten grams. Okay, great. So yeah, <laughs> I weighed them all. Yeah, I had nice little nice little scale, so yeah. I weighed them all. So yeah, so hey, that's awesome! Hey, that's so, so exciting. I know, I know. Yeah, it's so, it's great when it's someone that you like. Yes. We do interact we've, with her. We've a interacted lot. with yeah. her several times, so yeah. that's kind of neat that she got picked. That's awesome. Yeah. So and thank you all to the rest of the people that entered. Yes, yes. So, well, we'll, we're kind of new to the whole Ravelry group and and, and uh, uh, giveaways, and yeah, all of that. So you know, hopefully, learning as we go. Yes, we'll we'll see. If there's other things that we can do in the future, so yes, we can yes. do something similar. Yes, it's it's kind of fun. Yes, and I wanted and and, yeah. and, and I wanted to say Sprite nine six six. I think it would be fun if we could get together and knit sometime too. <laughs> She's in Scotland, so yes, oh, I would, we would yeah, definitely. If yeah. we were heading over, believe me, I'd be letting you know yeah. where I'm going. Oh, definitely. So we can hook up sometime. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and make our get our stuff done. Yeah, but uh, one of the things too, I wanted to say, um, 
we're participating in a couple of CALs. Mm -hmm. um, both of us are participating in the Grocery Girls Summer Hohi Along. Mm -hmm. And also... That's with our, so with that's our, with our Pure, Pure Joy, Joy shawls. But because the yarns for them are Canadian, they yes. are also having the Canadian along. So yes. that so that you have to that one you get if the pattern's a, a if the pattern's a Canadian designer, you get one entry. Mm -hmm. If it's a pat if you're using a Canadian yarn, that's an entry. Mm -hmm. If it's a Canadian theme, say a beaver, hockey, a maple leaf, something like that, some sort of theme mm -hmm. that would be considered Canadian. Canadian yeah. Um, you get that's enough. So you generally, depending on your pattern, you could get up to three entries yeah. for one pattern mm -hmm. for one item. So um, both are pure joy shawl, shawls. Mm -hmm. on, on both shawls, my second one as well is Canadian is Canadian, Canadian. yarns as yep. well. Yeah. Um, but my first one I did with the blue with the that I showed last week, it had. Um, the Tart blue Tardis. is called is is um, indigo dragonfly and it's That's called Canadian. Tardis. Yeah. So David of this boy knits mm -hmm. had told me that I could also enter it in his. Um, it's the sci-fi fantasy um, along whether you knit, crochet, or sew um, because Which, it's Tardis after Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Uh, Tardis. So I don't uh, watch booth. Doctor Who. Yeah. I know some of you might go, oh my God, but no, <laughs> I've never really watched. I think I would probably like it. Well, you know what? You know, I remember watching Doctor Who. Okay, the last time I watched time it ago. was when Tom Baker was Doctor Who. Yeah. I remember visiting our grandparents, mom's mm -hmm. mom and dad. Oh my God, our, that was such a long time ago. I know. So <laughs> like I remember staying there and this would have been like 1973 or 1974. So I was in my very 73 early. 73 was the last time yeah. we were there. So yeah. I was 13. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember watching Doctor Who there and he, Tom Baker's the one that wore the scarf. Like it seemed like it was miles and miles and miles long. Mm -hmm. Like it was huge. It wrapped like six times and then mm -hmm. it still hung down really mm -hmm. long. It was striped. Um, so I remember that. And I remember the Daleks. <laughs> exterminate, exterminate. <laughs> so that's, that's my memory of Doctor Who, which is very old. Because I have to tell you, I was watching... Um, a, a British TV show that I can't even remember the name of uh, that Irene had told me about mm -hmm. about this uh, this uh, young guy who inherits or anyway the, the the family has a castle it's an old family home in Scotland and so the the young son comes home and he's got to try and help his family kind of bring it back mm -hmm. to its former glory and I think one of the neighbors I think this is the show. Yeah, I remember watching episode after episode, or maybe it was Downton Abbey. I remember turning to my husband going, I have no idea. I think that's Doctor Who. <laughs> I think that's Tom Baker. So I had to wait and watch all the credits, and sure enough, it was Tom Baker. And I was like, that's an old guy. What happened to the guy with the curly <laughs> hair and the big scarf? So, yeah, that, that's my experience. Yeah. <laughs> See, I haven't even watched Downton Abbey. Which it's, I know yeah. it's over, but you can, might, like, if it came yeah. out on Netflix or something. But I've started watching, and I had heard several, several podcasters are watching mm -hmm. this, is mm -hmm. Stranger Things. Yeah, you were <gasps> telling me about that. Oh, my God. It's, like, awesome. It's, like, X-Files meets E.T. meets Poltergeist. It's creepy, and it's... Oh, like creepy. But... Scary, creepy. It's yeah, not gory. Like, no. It's not gory no. at all. It's not gross or gory at all. It, it it's it's a bit of a thinker. It's sort of a sci-fi. Mm. It, it's kind of it's interesting. Is the yeah. best way I can say it. it's real. But I really like Winona Ryder. Oh, is in it? Yeah, oh, okay. she plays the mom of the in the beginning. A, a little boy goes missing, and that's that's what makes me think of ET. It's the group of kids that hang out together. Oh, is it? And then it's there? a little the older oh, boy, yeah, and there's okay. like the old teenagers that also hang out, and it's yeah, all like gr kids yeah. grouping, kind of like ET had the older brother and the yeah. younger kids. Yeah. They're like each they're each, each group, groups, so it had yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. So it was quite interesting, that but also cool. with the weird stuff that go on with the house, kind of like in Poltergeist oh, okay. and. 
but it's sci-fi-ish. It's not horror reasons. It's uh, sci-fi, re- and okay. it's just and and Matthew Modine plays sort of the bad guy oh. in, in it. He plays Papa, uh, and he's got he's gotten older. He's oh, gray. <laughs> I told you. I said he's either he's either like gray. He's either naturally gone gray, or that he's they've, got they've this grayish it. blonde yeah. wig because he's very light haired, mm-hmm. and it's just he doesn't talk much. You don't. You oh, just, that, yeah. He doesn't talk much, but he's Actually, sort you know of in you charge. Can, you know of how the you lab. can tell who the bad guy is? He's always the guy that's eating. Always. If you ever watch a movie or anything... No, he's never eating. eating. No, the bad guy... If you ever watch a movie or anything, and you come into a room and and you don't really know who the character... This might be something... The bad guy is always, always eating. (laughs) So, anytime you're watching... He's not eating in this one. Oh, well, yeah. That's how you... Yeah. You can always tell who the bad guy is. They all have all the suits on. It's interesting. The bad guy always eats. It's very interesting. So, I binge... The other night, I binge watched like five episodes... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so now I have to get back and but all the new podcasts have all like there's a whole bunch of oh, next episode yeah, of, so now yeah. I have to do that and then I'll go back to binge watching it I'll start oh. at, at episode six and okay. do a whole bunch because I think there's there's like the whole I love Netflix the whole season comes out, out at once, once right yeah so I can yeah. I can do that yeah. after <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's great I love it love it love, I, love I, haven't, it. I haven't really watched um I watched uh an Italian movie. I, I actually like foreign films. I don't mind reading subtitles. Yeah. Um, and I like listening to Italian um, or French or something. I like listening to the language. I can, you know, being Canadian. I can I, too, but I find it, I find subtitles distracting. Yeah. No, I don't uh, really I just, mind I don't, I don't want to have to read my movie. No. That's see, how I look at it. I, 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 I like, can't, I find it distracting because I can't concentrate on both of them at the same time. Well, I, I've always been like that. I like... Uh, I don't mind actually reading reading the subtitles, and I I like um, because I know a little bit of French. I took French all the way through grade, grade thirteen. I'm barely conversational in it. I mean, I'm the typical Anglo Canadian in that I know like a cursory amount of French. I can read my cereal box. That's the extent of my French. But I uh, because I know enough French that when I have like traveled to Italy or something, I can hear certain words because they're latin based languages i can hear certain words and know what the words are Mm -hmm. so i like when i hear the language and i read it and it's like oh yeah i I got that part Uh, i got that part or it's interesting when you think you know what a word is and then you read and you go oh it's interesting how they translated that so i don't i don't mind that i find it really quite fascinating so i watched an italian movie the other night on netflix that i can't even remember it wasn't a particularly good one, unfortunately. That's why she can't remember. Yeah, that much. And um, but yeah, I, 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 there isn't actually a lot of stuff that I get hooked into mm. watching. Um, the last thing that my husband and I got really hooked on is um, oh, what's the one with with Kevin Spacey? And oh, House of Cards. House of Cards. I haven't watched that one yet. I've got to start watching so that. I've heard so much amazing. about it. Amazing. I mean, my husband isn't really a, a TV watching person, but we started watching that and we binge watched it. So we watched it through because we hadn't seen any of it. So um, I think we watched the first two seasons in like three weeks or something like that. We had to say, okay, like we watched two, maybe three episodes and he would say, okay, like we have to like start getting up and moving around. We can't like spend our days just doing this. I know. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah, which is so easy to do. So that's, that's the one we're waiting. And then of course, then the next, the, the following season came out, I think it was at the beginning of the summer or the, in the spring or something. Anyway, they all come out at once. And again, it was like two weeks and we had the whole thing watched yeah. and it's like we were yes. trying to drag it out so that we wouldn't have I know. to. Yeah. I just, I, I really wish Game of Thrones was on Netflix because I need season six. We didn't, we couldn't, like it's on HBO Canada up here and we have to pay for that and we weren't going to. Yeah. So we, uh, we've, we've been just buying the DVD. So we, mm-hmm. when we were in Florida in March or April, we we had bought season five yeah. for when we went down there, and we watched like two episodes a night. Yeah. Hooked it up to the, uh, the the TV, and the place didn't work. And the, or, or it worked. We could see it. We couldn't hear it. The sound system didn't oh, work. So oh. we put it on the computer, and we watched two episodes every night. 
Hmm. And then we had it watched. We had it all done by the time our friends came down for the rest of our visit, <laughs> the rest of our stay down there. So that was really awesome. Yeah. But yeah, so season six is done and everybody's like, oh my, my God. God. And I'm just like, don't. don't tell and me. actually, everybody's really, really good. They yeah. don't. Most, a lot of the yeah. Game of Thrones people I've been finding are actually really, really good, really good, at, good not at, saying, at not saying anything because you're just like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So well, we have um, to get it. Since we're talking about stuff, I mean, one of the things that I, I think I mentioned this in our first podcast mm -hmm. is that to me, podcasts, my first experience with them has all, always been audio podcasts. Mm -hmm. So um, there are certain ones that I listen to all the time. Um, I listen to, it's called Question of the Day, and it's there's three episodes a week, and they're really short. They're, you know, usually a little less than 20 minutes. Yeah. And... Um, it's two uh, two guys, James Altucher and Stephen Dubner. Now, Stephen Dubner is a co uh, one of the co-authors of the Freakonomics um, book, which probably a lot of people have heard of. Um, and they they go on to uh, a website called Quora, where I guess people just go in and ask questions. And if you know the answer or if you want to answer the question, mm -hmm. you can do that. So they'll go and they'll just pick a random question or one that piques their curiosity and they will read it out and then they they come up with their own answers to it and it's just it's interesting you can tell these two uh the two hosts are actually friends they've been friends for a number of years so it's sort of like listening to a conversation they're mm -hmm. having and they're they can be funny and um interesting and different viewpoints there's a new one i've been listening to called um revisionist history and that one is by Malcolm Gladwell. So he's the one who wrote like David and Goliath and Tipping Point. Uh, I think it's Tipping Point that he talks about probably what a lot of people have heard of the uh, 10,000 hour rule. I know he wasn't the first guy to come up with that, but he really talked about that was sort of the um, one of the key points to, to that book um, was that anyone who does something for 10,000 hours it becomes an expert at it and it becomes part of who they are and part of their it, things become second nature to them because they've been doing it for so long um, so he has if you've ever read any of his books you'll know that he looks at uh, situations and, and life a little differently than most people and I find that very intriguing and I really enjoy listening to his podcast because he does he looks at different and he's only done about five or six of them and I've listened to all of them and I, I think um, three of them he did three in a row where it was all uh, sort of tackling the education system in the United States he's uh, the other interesting thing is he is a Toronto Canadian uh, man originally mm -hmm. he was from the Toronto area and he's moved down to the US and I uh, I don't know if he's an American citizen now, but he's essentially he's American and he yeah. lives in New York and um, but he travels quite a bit and he just he's just a really interesting person to listen to. So he he talks, he presents the scenario and then he he um, just kind of takes it, you know, in a different direction, it makes you really think about um, how. Yeah, how things are different. Anyway, how how um, if you ever think of some a situation a little bit differently, it's it's really quite fascinating. I really yeah, like the way he talks. Comes about, it. comes from a, looks at them from a different angle. Yeah, very much yes. so. So it's just anyway. I yes. if you're interested in something like that. Now those ones are generally run around uh, about Andrew an hour. Andrew would probably like that. Yeah, Andrew looks at things differently, differently. and yeah. thinks of things uh, from different angles. So and it's just even and if, if it's, it's something that outcome. you want to just sit you know ponder life yes. or something this is a good one for that so. yeah just yeah, question just, some yeah, things just yeah. question some things yeah, yeah. well and it really certainly cool. doesn't hurt to question anything no so. not at all mm -hmm. not at all um but anyways i i really i think that that is pretty much mm -hmm. it we don't really it's it's a it's, it's gonna be a short one yeah i may even edit out some of that rambling stuff that but, we just did well, but it's interesting <laughs> they yeah. get to know us a little bit more yeah, yeah. so I don't get into that deep of stuff as Margaret does. <laughs> She's our scholarly one. <laughs> 
So, but yeah, no, I just, I, I, no, I watch, I watch the news just to sort of stay current with what's going on in the world. But half the time, I don't even watch TV anymore. I'm, I'm more interested. Yeah, in, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather listen to a knitting podcast than watch some but, of the crap that's on TV these days. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. just let me make sure I get my Outlander and I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like my Jamie Fraser. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like a good Highlander and a kilt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, Kathleen188, if you want to reach out to us uh, in, on Ravelry, you can um, send us a message, let us know how to send you this little package. Mm -hmm. uh, and for everyone else, thank you so much for participating. Yes, um, we really we love seeing it. what you're working on mm -hmm. and, and checking out some of the designs as well oh, yes. and the yarns that you're using. Very cool. So, so There's, I know, it's really inspiring. And it's just... Very, it's very much like oh, all the shiny things, all the all the yes. things I have to knit. So I know, I know, <laughs> I know. But the old shoulders really <laughs> I have to watch it. <laughs> Anyways, want well, to just thank you all again for stopping by and watching us. Yes, we really appreciate all of you subscribers. Um, so, welcome to all you new people who have who have uh, chosen to us. check us out and yeah. see how things are. We hope you stay. Mm -hmm. Yes, and come back again and thank you to all our Instagram followers our Ravelry followers just it's just so, it's so wonderful great. to and, hear from everybody uh, everybody is so inspirational in so yeah. many different ways it's just fabulous and mm -hmm. we really appreciate um, the effort that you take to come in yeah. participate and just be yes so um, I think we'll be doing this again in another two, two weeks. weeks. Uh, Sheila will be back by then. And yeah. so that's uh, the plan for now. And uh, so we look forward to seeing you again at that time. Yep. In the meantime, enjoy your summer. Take care. Yep. And, and be kind uh, to one another. Exactly. Be kind to one another. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks. See, you next, see you in a couple weeks. Okay. Bye. Bye.